What up everybody and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. We're gonna pick up where we left off on Killer Kadok here. Um, before we start, uh, I just want to say make sure you leave a you subscribe and leave a like. It really helps me out for this channel to grow. And without further ado, let's go. What's ascending? Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are, Clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? The dead need guidance. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on, and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The Sending takes them to the Far Plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. I just want to say real quick, this scene is absolutely beautiful. It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end?
until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm hmm? Uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. I like how not one person moves the whole segment. <laughs> Holland used to live in the Kilika temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Praying for victory is so good. Ugh, but is this right? Something wrong with enjoying blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Let's play and win. Right? Right. Temple's beyond the jungle there. Let's go. Get buy some items on the way back. Probably skip it for right now. If I put those items on the way back. know if I even have I need to get haste before we do these next boss fights so I'm gonna grind out a little bit and uh, get this haste and maybe lose uh, tier 3 spells depending how close we are which we are not close at all <laughs> Yeah, maybe not lose tier 2 spells, but at least haste. Alright, well I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> or maybe not yet, What's up? actually. Yuna's saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want... 
to ask you to be my guardian. You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. Well. What? What do you mean? It's just that... well... We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. My apologies. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, you guys, welcome back. Now I did some grinding out. I got uh, got a uh, Titus's uh, haste ability. So, all right, well, let's get right back into this. Company hot. The fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Nah, we're gonna kill it. So first, cast haste on Lulu here. Skill dark. Not for now, I mean, okay. That's not the one I'm doing. Whatever. Asleep. Wake up. Ow. That was very nice. That is how the cookie crumbles. Whoa. 
a summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll be sent to the ground. <clears throat> I probably should have healed Titus, but... These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready! <laughs> hey! Hey! Ah, huh? Hey! Interesting. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> I believe this is another boss fight. So, uh, let's see if we can get a few, few, uh, few more. No, we're not going to get any for him. Look out! 
Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! First, we're gonna have Titus come out here. Light paste on Lulu. We're actually gonna switch him up for Waka. Hope the guy would get the fire. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh god, totally just screwed up too. her out for Titus. Pretty weak. <laughs> we got him though. <sighs> Yeesh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. <laughs> Being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. 
You got talent. Nah. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. You letting that stuff go to your head, man. So, uh, they got fiends in Xenacan, too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Because uh, Chapu was Lulu's first lover or something like that, if I remember correctly. You here to pray for victory too? Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. Can't wait to smack those fools. <laughs> ah, man. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet.
a summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. <sighs> a guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? <coughs> the faith is below. Let's do it! The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No, nah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. He's so triggered. <laughs> Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Just a little. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now.
did this wrong, me. I don't think I did. It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Just wait. <gasps> Just wait. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. We got Ifrit.
I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are, are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Let's get these items here real quick. actually looking for the shop owner. I don't remember where she is though. Oh, never mind. I lied. <laughs> Oh, 
Off to Luca at last. The matches start as soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? If you remember correctly, you talk to some people here and you can uh, get some items, so. I don't remember which people you talk to though. So Luca goes back there. Thank you. Ooh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy! Filthy! This won't sell. All me name's not a walker. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Add him away. Who do you think you are? A walker the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. A walker the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Some day. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a. I'm gonna lend him a million, Gil. <laughs> I don't even have that much. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna lend him a thousand now. I'll make it up to you. Alright, so this is where I'll stop for this episode. So, you know, I will see y'all in the next episode. Make sure you leave a like, a like and subscribe. And this is Crazy Steve signing off.